the bullpen effort for the Giants. This is the second time this week and seventh time this year that they're doing this. John Brebbia has been often used as an opener, so expect at least an inning from Brebbia, the right hand. Here's the former San Francisco Giant, Mike Tuckman. Tuckman rips one towards center field, towards a spot he used to play here at Oracle Park. It is caught by Yastrzemski for the first down. Here's a swing, line drive to third, and a leaping backhanded catch by J.D. Davis to take one away from Morrell. Three up, three down. A couple of balls hit pretty well. Nice play there by Davis. Inning over. Kyle Hendricks ready to go to work. He's done some very good work in his career against these Giants and a lot of other teams, I might add. Hendricks lifetime five and two against San Francisco with a 2.3 ERA. Speaking of power, here's Lamont Wade Jr. This one bounced on the ground, though, pounded into the dirt for the first baseman, rookie Matt Mervis. And Lamont Wade is retired by his counterpart. One away. That'll bring up Tyro Estrada. Estrada gets jammed. Boy, Hendricks is getting some weak contact. That throw whipped over by Nick Madrigal for out number two. So he's retired. Wade and Estrada, two guys that have been tough to retire with two nice ground ball outs. There's Jock Peterson. Peterson just coming back from a hand injury. He lifts one deep to right center field. Ranging back is Morrell. He's at the track and he's going to make the catch. 415 out to that corner in deep right center. And this is still John Brebbia. Swanson goes down swinging. Boy, the slider has looked sharp in the early going in this opening outing for John Brebbia. J.D. Davis hitting in the cleanup spot. Hendricks deals and it's bounced back up the middle. The second baseman Horner with a tough jump throw to get Davis. Four up and four down against Hendricks. Nice play by Nico Horner at second base. Horner spent a lot of time at shortstop last year. Moved over to second base with the signing of Swanson. It was a nice job of backhanding and then just easily flips it over there. So one on one out for Mike Yastrzemski. Swings first pitch. Sends it deep to center field. Tuckman all the way back to the track and just as Yastrzemski did to him back in the first Tuckman goes deep to retire his center field counterpart Yastrzemski two away maybe spread out you know where whether you're right handed heavy or left handed heavy look at their bullpen and how it's structured a little bit but uh, you still want to play your best players Matt Mervis the rookie and swings one. and drills one deep to right field this one is way back and gone third career big league home run for Matt Mervis and it's a one nothing Cubs lead. Put him in the right spot. That's, that's good. That's, man. that's great management. Yeah, good right. management. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> first hit for the Cubs or first base runner is a solo blast. Big ovation for the Bay Area kid playing game number one thousand six hundred all for the San Francisco Giants. It's Brandon Crawford. Hits this one hard and deep right center field long run for Tuckman. He dives and makes the catch. Robbery of extra bases of Crawford by the former giant Tuckman. Hang a star on this one. A fabulous defensive play. Tuckman an unbelievable play. Now Giants fans they've seen this before. Yep. Christopher Morrell lined out to third his first time. 2-1 is hit to right field and pretty deep. Conforto going back. He's going to turn around. It is off the top of the wall and gone. And Morrell finally gets back on the board after a cold stretch. Well, that's what Kyle Hendricks does best. He, he misses barrels. When he's going well, he's getting movement. But what he's doing is he's inducing hitters to be a bit more aggressive, swing at pitches that are just off the plate. Infield in for San Francisco. Cubs have men at second and third, just one away. Good pitch on the outside corner. Corner did not like the placement of that one. Now they get to back up with two down. Here's Morrell. Hard hit ball back up the middle. Past the diving Estrada for a base hit. Madrigal is in. Tuckman is in. And Christopher Morrell has found the stroke the last two trips to the plate. He's driven in three. It's four to nothing Cubs. Well, Morrell jumps on the very first pitch, much like Tuckman did after that long at bat by Madrigal. Both swinging at the first pitch, both rewarded with base hits. Cubs offense coming to life, huh? Michael Conforto is the only man to reach against him thus far. That was on a walk in the second. Swing and a miss by Estremski. Strike three, two away. 
See, it starts in the zone and then drops out. And that's when you know that you're effective as a pitcher. Giants still seeking their first hit against Hendricks, who's been very efficient through five innings of work thus far. Only base runner was Michael Conforto on a walk in the second. Blake Sable in the eighth spot. The rookie leads it off for San Francisco. His first pitch swinging, roller to Horner. Plants and throws, one down. One two pitch to the veteran Crawford. Slow roller to first for Mervis. Two up and two down in the sixth. Now the one two swing and a miss strike three. Hendricks has gone six innings the Giants without a hit. We go to the seventh Cubs four San Francisco nothing. Kyle Hendricks has faced just one above the minimum so far. He's retired the last 14 Giants. Hendricks got the bottom of the zone for strike three. Sharply hit ball, but right to the second baseman on the backhand side. J.D. Davis at the plate. Off the plate. Hendricks off the mound. A one, two, three inning. Seven innings in the book. The Giants do not have any base hits. This ties the longest any pitcher has taken a no hitter into a game. Seven and a third. It's happened twice this season. Zach Wheeler and Spencer Strider have both done it. Now Kyle Hendricks has done it. Kyle, five outs away. Yastrzemski hits a ground ball. Horner backhands it, throws to first. Out number two. Two quick outs here in the eighth inning. Hanniger makes his way to the plate. Hanniger throws one deep left center field. Back towards the wall, and it's off the fence. The longest no hit bid in baseball this year. Finished off by Hanniger in the eighth. A great ovation from the Giants crowd to Hanniger. A lot of applause from the Cubs dugout for Hendricks. Sable hits a routine fly ball to left. Ian mm. Happ's going to make the catch. Merriweather takes over. 4 nothing Cubs as the Giants come up in the bottom of the ninth. Giants all time at Oracle Park since 2000 have only been one hit four times in this park. One strike away from another. There it is. Merriweather finishes it off. A sparkling pitching performance from the Chicago Cubs. Christopher Morrell with the big offensive game. Mervis added a solo shot. The young Cubs coming up on offense. And the veteran of veterans on the Cubs pitching staff, Kyle Hendricks, with one of the best pitching performances the Cubs have had all year.